welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. I just got my Melt Smoke Sessions palette in the mail and I motivated myself to film these two eye looks. So basically, I swatched the palette and there are eight beautiful shades. I used all eight shades to create these two different eye looks and I don't want to blabber too much, so let's just get into it. You guys, I cannot believe how many people actually pay attention to my earrings when I film YouTube videos. It is so becoming my thing right now to have earrings in my videos because people like remember them. People ask me where I get them from. Like I'm pretty pumped with myself that I've made this into like a semi trend. You know what I mean? So earrings are on. These are from Bobble Bar last year. You know, the tassels were like huge and I don't wear them enough because I think they're so fancy. They're not that fancy. But anyway, today I am going to film another get ready with me slash first impressions slash testing out new makeup type deal. I did find this in my local CVS store and they actually had it behind the counter. I wanted to buy this when it first launched. I couldn't find it anywhere. And they had like all four shades, but I was trying not to be a savage because I told you guys I wasn't gonna buy highlighters. Um, but the cool thing was the lady at the counter, my husband bought like candy. We were going to see the new Grindelwald, Harry Potter, what are those called? The new Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them movie. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and my husband wanted to get candy, so we stopped at CVS, and his lure, because he knows me so well, was, oh, and then you can look at the makeup. He knows me so well, so he, um, that's how he lured me into candy situation, and I didn't see anything in the store that I was, like, desperately in need of, and then we went to the checkout to pay for his said candy, and uh, I see this like glorious little display of all of these highlighters sitting there. They had all four shades. And mm, then my husband got a little coupon for like $3 off a purchase. Oh my God, this is so impossible to open wet and wild. Okay, I don't even have a trash can by me. So I'm just gonna, oh, the sticker is insane. Okay, so yeah, so then my husband was paying for his candy and then there's like a coupon. So I actually only paid like $2 for this eyeshadow, uh, this highlighter. So I feel like you guys would be proud of me because that's not a whole lot. And this is called Holy Gold Head. And the sticker is impossible. Oh my gosh, is it open yet? Hopefully after all that fighting. And I'm so not in the mood to film right now, but I just got my Melt palette. Oh my god, this is, okay, here we go. Okay, after much fighting, here it is. This came out when the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold highlighter came out, and you guys, I fought the urge to buy the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold palette during the Sephora sale, um, and I'm so glad I didn't buy it because I don't need it, and... I got this for two bucks, which is great. I like the Wet n Wild highlighters. I think they're great, not just for the price point they're at, but just in general, I think they're great. And so, yeah, I um, have like my full face on. I'm just gonna play with the Melt palette, but I wanted to highlight on camera to show you guys, I don't know, this highlighter in case y'all were thinking about, you know, getting it. <laughs> um, and I'm actually wearing the Wet n Wild bronzer today, too, in the deepest shade. And Charlotte Tilbury blush in Sex on Fire, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Let's uh, give this thing a little Milani shower. I want to try and finish up more makeup and products. And so I'm going to attack all of these things and, like, work harder to get them all out of my collection or used up. So... Face is done. Oh, should I wear? Okay, so I'm debating like putting this back on because this is the Karma Liquid Lip from Jeffree Star. If you guys really liked it in my What I Bought on Black Friday video. I also filmed that look, so I will edit it and get that up. The Melt one might go up first because I feel like less people have had time to talk about this on the internet. And let's all be real, we all know what gets the views. <laughs> I wanted to open this on camera live with you guys because the last time I got a Melt palette, I bought the 27 palette and it broke and then it broke again because I got a replacement palette and then I was like, I'm done, sis. 
I'm done with your palettes. Don't send me any more. And I returned it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to open this. Um, here it is. It's pop themed palette and comes with a little green sticker. It's called Smoke Session and I didn't get any of the lippies. Here is the green tissue. Gotta love that attention to detail, y'all. Um, now, I don't smoke marijuana or eat it or anything like that, but you know what? To each their own. I'm not gonna tell anyone how to live their lives. That is completely up to you. Picked up two items. I have wanted this forever and it was on sale. I kind of panicked when the palette launched because I was scared it was gonna like sell out and their whole site was on sale for Black Friday. So I was kind of bummed that I didn't like have the sense to look around and place a $70 order, $75 order so I could get free shipping. But you guys know I've been obsessed with colorful highlighters. Oh, is this a sharpeny situation? That is so weird. Oh God, I'm scared. Is it broken? I can hear it like shaking. So this is the green pencil in 420. Avi, this is very, very dry. So I'm guessing the reason they're probably, do, like, these are on sale is because they're trying to, like, you know, get rid of stock. Um, yeah, it's so dry, you guys. I have to, like, literally, like, look at that. Like, I went hard on that first one. I went, like, up and, well, that's, this is just great. I'm so glad I spent $5 um, on that, but... Oh god, I'm dropping stuff. Okay, so here is my favorite green eye, um, eyeliner. This is Overdrive. Do you see how smooth that is? This one is more matte. Overdrive is more of a satin. I feel like I need to buy a backup to this eyeliner because I don't know if it's like limited edition, but it's like my favorite green eyeliner currently. Not that I have a ton of other eyeliners, but I'm just chatty today. So let's get into opening up the palette here bubble wrapped. I already got a comment on YouTube from somebody saying their palette did arrive broken so I'm already like highly anxious about the whole situation. My mother-in-law I sent her a picture of this palette and she thought it was cool because that I'll just stop right there. Okay so the last time every time I opened the palette I shattered an eyeshadow so I'm gonna try really hard to be really really careful. Okay it's not broken. Oh these are I don't get milk. I'm not even gonna, I'm scared. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. It's so bizarre. So is this supposed to be their holiday collection? I'm so all kinds of confused because I feel like it is definitely similar to the Gemini palette. And people really did like the Gemini palette. A lot of people really like the milk eyeshadows. I'm like one of the outliers that don't. The only reason I bought this is I have a slight obsession with the shade green because it is my favorite color. And uh, this just spoke to me and I passed on the Gemini because the 27 was such a horrible experience. I like like snagged it in that pre-order. So here it is. And uh, I think I want to swatch it first because I really don't know what to expect from this whole situation. So let's do that. Okay, so first shade I see is called um, Gravity OG. It's like a beautiful mustard color. Wow, that's so pretty. Grand, oh wait, these are all weed names, aren't they? Sorry, I don't even know. So Grand Daddy, we've got Black Widow. Wow, so pretty. Um, Sour Diesel is a matte, beautiful. Space Queen. Okay, so these are the first five shades. Let's see here. Wow, these are so pretty. Oh my. God, Becky, look at her butt. I don't know what I'm saying. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. I love that. Okay. And then the last three, we've got Mean Green. So soft. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Sweet Tooth. Ah! And then Blue Dreams. So pretty. I'm losing my shit over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here are all the swatches of the new Melt Smoke Sessions palette. Let me go like that. Pause it so you guys can zoom in on this shit and take a look if you're curious how it's going to look on a tan skin tone. I do have some of my foundation shades listed down below as well. So it's a fun time down there in my description box. 
Oh my god, I don't even know what to do. I feel like I need to do green eye, gold situation on one eye and the green on the other eye. Because they're so beautiful. It's basically two quads. Like, that's how I see it. Because there's two mats. This mat works really well paired with these. This mat works paired really well um, with these shimmers. I'm going to run out of blending brushes at some point here because... I've been doing so many eye looks, which I'm so excited about. I hope you guys are enjoying all these little get ready with me type videos. They're really not my thing at all. I'm mainly like a reviewer and I used to do swatch party videos, but I've kind of like figured it out where I usually film like putting my makeup on on like the weekend so I can do turn that like into a video. Usually I don't film myself putting makeup on because I felt like it was so lengthy, those videos were so lengthy and boring that nobody would watch them. But I feel like I've kind of hit my stride with them as far as just making it more like a get ready with me slash first impression. So I am going into the shade Sour Diesel and this is on a uh, Morphe M441. It's just a big fluffy blending brush and honestly this one's been through a lot. <laughs> And uh, so I'm just messily applying this into my crease. It's a very smoky um, green shade. Um, definitely like a foresty green type shade. Actually, it's not a forest. It's more like a deep khaki green shade. And it's blending really nicely into the crease. Oh my gosh, stunning! You guys, I'm obsessed. Okay, I really am gonna do two different eye looks, so let me grab a different blending brush, and this way you guys will see how, do I have another M44? Oh, this is an M433. It's a little bit more tapered, but it'll still do the trick. I'm gonna use the Space Queen shade, which is the beautiful tealy green, forest green, I would call that. So I just tap, and we're going right into the crease here. I think it's gonna be funny because I feel like these shades, when they're once they're blended, they're gonna look very similar. Like I ha highly doubt anyone's gonna notice a difference. This is blending so nicely, you guys. I'm just like living my best life right now. I don't know what to tell you about the marijuana situation, but the palette though, the palette though is good though. It swatched so nicely. I'm really excited. Can you tell? Okay, we're blending. We're blending. Okay, I'm going to grab my other brush again and do a little bit more on this side. Um, amp up the drama a little bit. A little bit. Okay, so can you see the difference in the, in the two colors? So this one's definitely more like a forest green. This one's more of like that army color. Both gorgeous, love, so happy right now. I'm so happy right now, you guys, you don't even understand. It's a real thing. I'm literally running out of brushes. Like, I need somebody to send me some flat shade, shade brushes because I'm too lazy to clean my brushes, god damn it. God damn it. Should I use my finger? I really like a finger person though. Mm, that sounded wrong. I really like a finger person. Okay. So I do have this guy. It's a little bit dirty from when I used it um, to do my eye look with Alien palette, but I'm just gonna rub it off on <laughs> this paper towel. And this is a Morphe M224, and it's actually a concealer brush, but I like to use it because it's flat, and I can just like pack on shadow. So let's try it first without the um, wetting the brush, and I'm just going into the first shade, which is uh, Gravity OG, which is on the gold side. I'm gonna use all the shades in this palette today to create two different eye looks. So, saddle up, baby. <laughs> I'm in a mood, let me tell you. Okay, let's just wet it just to see what the drama is. Girl, let's see what the drama is with this color. Does it make it better if it's wet? Whoa, what did I just say out loud? Does it make it better? Okay, pretty. Now we're going into Grand Daddy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't see a difference in the color. <laughs> That's okay. 
That's all right. That's okay. We're gonna kick his ass someday. Okay, super pretty. Okay, now the lash is called Black Widow, which is like the dark green shimmer. I'm just gonna press that in the outer um, one third of the eye. Ta-da! Okay, eye look number one. Pretty much done. I don't. Maybe I can brighten up the middle a little bit more and the inner corner. But yeah, that's pretty much done on that side. And now. We're gonna get into my favorites, which are the greens. Holla. So I'm gonna start with Blue Dream, which is like a minty blue. Put that on the inner corner. Just a little bit of fallout. I could probably have used some glitter glue, but I'm just gonna wet my brush instead. So what do you guys do? Like, do you wet the brush and then pick up the shadow like I just did, or do you pick up the shadow and then wet the brush? I've seen people do it both ways and I'm wondering if there is a method to the madness like do you guys see one way working better than the other or what's the deal these shadows by melt are really weird consistency like if I show you my palette you'll know what the fuck I'm talking about they almost like look like they're pressed funky but that's okay Okay, so I'm also like using this flat brush to blend a little bit. Okay, so there is some fallout too, if, in case you can't see. And then I, so I did these two and I'm going to do this shade, um, which is called Mean Green. And I'm, again, putting that in the outer one third of my lid. Do you guys ever wonder, like, so my life turned out a little bit different because I ended up moving away from like the country I grew up in, obviously, Sri Lanka. I do still see a lot of people I went to school with like hang out with each other. And I don't know, I think like my parents' generation, so like my parents are like in their early 60s and they're so good at like keeping in touch with their friends. Like my parents still talk to people they worked with like 20 years ago, like when I was a little girl. So, but I did a terrible job. I didn't keep really try to, I mean, I tried to keep in touch with people when I first moved here and started going to college, but it's so hard. And like, it's so hard to relate to people that you don't see all the time. And uh, they have their own lives in Sri Lanka. And I never really w visited either. Like the first time um, for me to go back home was, well, in a long time. Like I hadn't been home since like 2011, since I went this last time. And, um, it's just so hard to like keep in touch, but my, pr my parents' generation still do it. They keep in touch with people they haven't seen in years, which blows my mind. And so I always wonder if like any of them watch my YouTube channel because I'm still like Facebook friends with them and I don't post a lot about my makeup on my Facebook or as much as I used to, but I still wonder like if anybody from like high school watches my YouTube channel because I think it would just be interesting because I know there are way more YouTubers and bloggers now in Sri Lanka and so I just I just always wonder if that's a thing if it's like if people watch it and are like oh my gosh Karen's like the worst at makeup like she needs to stop like I wonder if that's a thought that crosses their mind which it might which if they do I don't really care but uh yeah <laughs> anywho's just just random thoughts from me but okay so this is the eye look I kind of want to do liner I feel like liner would make this like more dramatic what do you guys think should I do liner or should I leave it maybe I should leave it oh my god I can't decide I can't decide maybe I should just leave it and let let the eye look just live a little oh my gosh I want to show you guys this this was like a bad decision that I made I bought this color from the ColourPop um, holiday collection it's called Dreamaholic. I was like really interested in this, but honestly on me, it just looks like blue. Like I cannot be like a grown human being walking the streets with this lip gloss. So I kind of almost feel like I could get, like throw it in a giveaway, you know? But I did swatch it on my hand a few times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, eyeliner. Ooh, I did get, okay, you guys, this guy though from Marc Jacobs. I did pick up a few of these for the sale, from the sale, for the sale. And I feel like this one would pair really well. 
I also got this shade in gold or this eyeliner in gold. The gold I feel like is so close to my skin tone. It kind of like just gets lost with my skin. Let's try this one in the lip eyeline. I know this is going to hurt. I don't know why I said eye, eye, lip line, eyeline. This. Well, this eyeliner is great if you like to stab yourself. I feel like this should be a twist, but it's not. I don't. I'm scared to be one of those people that just sharpens like a plastic pencil, but. Oh my god. This eyeliner pencil sucks. Should I just declutter the motherfucker? Or should I like, should I like burn it with a lighter? <laughs> See if that works. Oh my god. Okay. Go. The Urban Decay one just did that job. I need, I need, I need a little brush, a little pencil number. Let's use this one for Morphe. It's M168. And I'm going to go into the matte shade. And I'm just going to blend that onto the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take this gold. And then I'm going to use do it on this side too. I'm just going to. Their formula is so crumbly. Like, if you look at my palette, you'll see, like, there's dents in the formula from me moving it around. I don't know. If you're an eyeshadow bully, like, this palette is not going to make it. I swear to you. It's not going to make it. Okay. Boom skis. So, I'll be right back with some mascara. Okay guys, here is the finished eye look with the With The Melt Smoke Session palette. Oh my gosh, vote for your favorite eye. Vote gold or green, tell me which one's your favorite. Here are the swatches again. I think I like this one. The formula still feels really funky, but oh, I just love green so much. Like, I just wanna live the fantasy every day. I just wanna wear green eyeshadow and live my best life. Okay guys, so as you can obviously tell, this is the final look. What do you guys think? Let me know your favorite one. Let me know if you picked up the Smoke Sessions palette. I'm so curious to hear all of your thoughts down in the comments. Also, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can you know, be in the loop for future videos and giveaways and things like that. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.